Morning everybody. Welcome back to Tops Outdoor Adventures. Sitting here in uh, one of the little work rooms out in the shop. There's snow on the ground. It's cold. It's nasty. So here we are. Today's video is going out by request to a good friend of mine named Keith that lives over in Paul's Valley, Oklahoma. He called me up yesterday and we were talking about minutes of angle and sighting scopes in and things like that. And I told him, I said, well, I'll just make a video. I used to have one on here, but I took my channel down a year or two ago and it was lost. So we're going to start over. Now this is my third time making this video because I want to give you guys information that 99% of y'all can use, but I do need to go deep enough into the weeds to explain how things work. But I promise I'll try to make the, bain, the brain pain as as little as I can. Now let's talk about circles. A circle has 360 degrees in it. Whether that is a flat horizontal circle or whether that circle is vertical, there's 360 degrees in it. Now using minutes of angle, degrees are not accurate enough for you to adjust your scope. Inside of a 360 degree, inside of a circle 360 degrees, one degree is made up of 60 minutes. So there are 60 minutes of angle in one degree and 360 degrees in a circle. Got it? That's pretty simple, I think. Now let's talk about an angle, all right? Right here, hope you guys can see that okay. I've got, an, I just drew an angle out. All right, this is the vertex of the angle. What I want you guys to really notice is as you get further from the vertex, that angle gets bigger. All right, so if you look on here, you should be able to see that at 100 yards, one minute of angle is one inch. It's actually 1.047 to be exact but we just call it one inch. As I move away from the vertex, that angle gets bigger. So at 200 yards, one minute of angle is two inches. 300 yards, one minute of angle is three inches. And it continues, and I'm sure you can figure out that at a thousand yards, one minute of angle equals 10 inches. Now, why is that important? Well, what that does is give us a standard of measurement that we can use with a rifle scope to account for how many inches we have to move. Now hold that thought because I forgot to grab this scope sitting over here. This is your everyday rifle scope, probably found on many, many hunting rifles. This one in particular is a Nikon, uh, I forget which model it is. The Nikon Buckmaster. Now, you know you have windage and elevation knobs on a rifle scope. Let's go ahead and twist one of these scope caps off. And right here on this scope, it says one click equals one quarter inch. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay. That's a pretty kind of, that's the most common adjustment. One click equals a quarter inch and that's at 100 yards. The most common sight in range is 100 yards. So what's that do for us? Well, we're going to move a quarter inch at 100 yards every time we click that scope. So that's telling me that this scope is quarter minute of angle adjustments. Now, how does that work in for us? Well, you guys probably need to grab pen and paper, write this down, maybe screenshot, whatever, but I want you to remember this formula. Bullet drop in inches divided by range in hundreds equals minutes of angle. I'll leave that up there for just a second. Bullet drop in inches divided by yardage or range in hundreds equals minutes of angle. That's a handy piece of information to know, right? What good does it do me? Well, it does me like this. Let's say, for example, let me grab my cell phone out. We're going to go ahead and put it on vibrate while I'm sitting here so we don't get interrupted. But I traditionally use a 308 to deer hunt with. 
fair weight Winchester. So what I did was I went to Federal Premium, their ballistic calculator, and I input some information about the interior ballistics of my weapon. You know, the scope height over bore, usually an inch and a half, muzzle velocity, bullet design, and grain weight. And I told it where I want to zero my weapon, and I hit calculate, and it figured out the trajectory for the, the round that I shoot. So, once it figured it out, I took a screenshot of it, and I have it on my phone here as a picture. Let me get in there. I don't know if you guys can read those or not, but you can see what's going on. Hey, I got a comment on TikTok. Sweet time. Check out my TikTok. Top underscore USMC RET. I'm almost famous. But anyway, this has my bullet trajectory based on 100 yard zero. So, if I am a 100 yard zero on my rifle and Bullwinkle steps out at 300 yards, okay, I'm going to take a look here at my little ballistic chart and I'll see that I dropped 14.7 inches. Now, I'm going to call that 15 inches just to make the math easy. 15 inches of bullet drop at 300 yards, which is going to be bullet drop in inches, 15, divided by range in hundreds. 300 yards is 3 in hundreds. So 15 divided by 3, that math is really easy. That is five minutes of angle. I did the math for you. Bullet drop in inches divided by yardage in hundreds gives me minutes of angle. Now, what's that do for me? Well, that lets me know that if I come up five minutes of angle on my scope, I can hold dead on that deer and I've got point of aim, point of impact. I don't have to play that Kentucky windage game where I want to try to hold so far over deer's back or or just whatever because I'll tell you right now you can't do that accurately especially the further away you get if you've just got a plain crosshair reticle you can't judge at 600 yards if you're holding 10, 10 inches over a target or if you're holding 8 inches over a target so I don't play that game never have now I've got a rifle here that has got a kind of fancy scope on it. This is a, uh, a Vortex scope and it has what's called targeting knobs or target, target turrets, whatever you want to call it. And what it allows me to do is I can have this rifle in my shoulder and at an instant I can reach up here and I can come up, in this case five minutes of angle, like that. Okay. So I can make those adjustments on the fly. And that's where minutes of angle comes in the handiest for me. Now I've got a pretty good background in long range shooting. So that's where all this stuff came from. So in our example here, we were 300 yards, had 15 inches of bullet drop. So that turns into five minutes of angle. Pretty simple deal. Let's do a cup. Let's do another one while we're sitting here. Let's say that Bullwinkle jumps out at 450 yards. And let me go to my trajectory chart here. Based on my 100 yard zero at 450 yards, that 308 is dropping 48 inches. So I've got 48 inches of bullet drop. I'm going to take 48 inches of bullet drop divided by 4.5, which is my yardage and hundreds. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull a calculator up here so I don't embarrass myself doing some bad math. 450 yards divided by, or I'm sorry, 48 inches. I'm not a smart work calculator. 48 inches divided by 4.5 gives me 10.666 to infinity in, in minutes of angle. I can't pick up, I can't dial up 10.6 minutes of angle. I can dial quarter, half, three quarter, and then I'm back to a whole minute of angle. So in that case, I'm just going to dial up, what do we say? 
I'm going to dial up 10.5, 10 and a half minutes of angle, and I'm going to take that shot. So that is how minutes of angle works, and that's what it does for us, you know, kind of at the higher end of the game maybe, where we've actually got these targeting scopes. We can figure that out, and that lets us hold dead on that target at whatever range we are. We just simply do this mass step, dial it up, and take that shot. Now, what is that mass step that we do? I think I've mentioned it before. You need to remember it. It's very important. Bullet drop in inches divided by yardage in hundreds equals minutes of angle. Remember this formula, guys. That's what you need to do. I don't play with mills or mill radians, you know, whatever, that, whatever you want to call that, however they want to abbreviate it this week. I don't deal deal with mills, which is simply a metric version. I'm in America. I live my life on inches, feet, yards, and miles. I haven't cared what the British how the British measure stuff since what about 1776. So, what kind of a takeaway can I give the average shooter out there? I get these questions all the time. How far do I have to move my scope to move four inches at 25 yards because I'm just getting a rifle sighted in? Well, I'm going to break it all down for you right here, if you can see this. If your scope says one click equals a quarter inch, or it says one click equals one quarter MOA, these numbers will work for you. Now, at the very top, I've got 25. At 25 yards, one click moves you a sixteenth of an inch, if I remember. Outstanding. A sixteenth of an inch. At 50 yards, one click will move you an eighth of an inch. At 100 yards, one click moves you obviously a quarter of an inch. If you notice, as I divided the numbers in half, the fraction got cut in half, or the bottom number doubled, however you want to look at it. Once you get to 200 yards, one click will give you a half an inch. 300 yards, one click moves you three quarters of an inch. At 400 yards, one click moves you one inch. And at 500 yards, one click on your scope will move the strike of that round one and one quarter inches. How do you know this works? Well, one minute of angle at 200 yards is equal to two inches. What's one quarter of two? Well, half of two is one and half of that is going to give me a quarter. So that's where the half inch comes from. That's how we do that math. Let's go to 300 yards. One minute of angle is three inches. Half of that is an inch and a half. So a half minute angle is an inch and a half. Half of a half is a quarter. And that quarter, I'm sorry, half of 1.5 is 0.75. That's where three quarters inch comes from. 400 yards, one minute of angle, four inches wide. What's one fourth of four? It moves you one inch and on out. I mean, you can figure that out. So anyway, I hope this uh, kind of breaks down the minutes of angle for you and kind of gets you thinking. If you got any more questions or comments, just throw them down in the video and I'll answer them. And uh, hey, if there's enough interest and you guys got enough questions and you're on TikTok, I can finally do TikTok lives. We'll just do a TikTok live and we'll talk it out and uh, see if I can save you guys some of the brain pain. But anyhow, just real quick, hold this up one more time in case you ain't wrote it down yet. Bullet drop in inches divided by yardage in hundreds equals minutes of angle. Cool? Got it? Good. Moving on. This one here where I did the math for you on sighting your rifle in at a hunt at whatever. This is what a click does. What's the most important thing to you? Probably the 25, because that's where most of y'all start. So just remember at 25 yards, it one click is a sixteenth of an inch. Get it real close at 25, and then jump out to 100 and you'll be okay. If you want to try 50, one click at 50 yards ought to be an eighth of an inch. So anyway, I hope you guys got that written down. Hold up a little higher so you can see at 500 yards, one click is going to move you an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. Anyway, there you go. I hope this video answers your questions, Keith. If it causes any questions, y'all be sure to give me a shout. While you're on my page here, or while you're on my channel here, 
Won't you do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Throw some comments down there so it'll actually make me feel like somebody watches my videos. I do know one thing. My buddy Keith is going to watch this one. Well, you guys stay safe out there and try to stay warm and enjoy this winter weather. Spring is on the way. Have a good day. Where's my off button? Bye.